The best quality hybrid and traditional photo lighting and shooting videos are available for you at ShootSmarterUniversity.com. And they're less than 10 bucks a piece, too. Hi there, it's Marlene Helema from DiscoverMirrorless.com. And in this week's video blog post, I'm going to be talking once again about getting things right in the camera. And I'm actually going to be talking about exposure again, too. In my last video, I talked about the histogram and how the histogram was a really good way to check if your exposure is proper. But there's also another way to do it. Some of you might affectionately know them as the blinkies. So what the blinkies are, it basically shows you your blown out highlights. And actually in some cameras, they have blinkies to show uh, underexposed shadows as well, which is kind of cool, but not too many cameras that I've seen actually have that. Now, if you turn on your camera and you don't have blinkies, you might actually have to go into the menus and find them. And they're sometimes called highlight and things like that. And actually you might not even have the histogram showing up in your camera because in some cameras you have to turn that on as well. So let's have a look at a camera and I'll show you what blinkies look like, but I'm sure you know, but just in case. And I'll show you how to activate them as well. Okay, let's play back uh, a photo here and you can see that on the back of this camera you have a blinking area. I'm sure you've all seen those. When you hit the display button on this particular camera, you also can bring up the histogram. Now if you can't see your blinkies or your histogram, you actually may have to go into the menu of your camera. So in this case, I will hit the, uh, the tools and in there, there's a highlight menu and right now it's on. I can turn it off and now when I go back and play my photo, you can see that the blinkies are gone. Interestingly enough, when you look at this histogram, it actually doesn't what I call climb the walls on the right side. You can see that there is a, actually a little bit of space. So the blinkies are indicating loss of highlight detail. You can get that loss of highlight detail even if you're not climbing the walls. And here's why. In this diagram of the histogram, you can see that we have uh, black with detail on one end on the left side and white with detail on the right. So if you are out of range where there's going to be shadow and highlight detail, you will get the blinkies. Okay, so just a review. You need to get into that menu, turn it on, and that will show you in your playback mode your blinkies. Okay, so again, the goal is to make your exposure as good as possible in camera. So I hope you learned a little bit more about exposure and keep in mind that when you're shooting hybrid products, you want to make sure that you have everything right in the camera. Same as shooting JPEGs. You want to get your exposure perfect. You want to get your white balance perfect because you don't want to have to deal with editing or do as little editing as possible, especially with video. Video editing is crazy. The learning curve for video is like that. And it's worse than learning Photoshop, trust me. All right, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to discovermirrorless.com so you don't miss another one of our blog posts. Take care. The best quality hybrid and traditional photo lighting and shooting videos are available for you at shootsmarteruniversity.com. And they're less than 10 bucks a piece too.